Natasha, hey, thank you for uh, sp um, speaking with us and congratulations for nurses. Thank you, thank you very much, yeah. And uh, not to mention, congratulations for a second season of Nurses too, I believe. Uh, has, has that started shooting already? Yeah, we actually just finished um, in at the beginning of October. We so we got yeah we started filming our second season in the beginning of March, just before thing like the world went crazy. <laughs> COVID happened, and then we got shut down um, about an episode and a half into filming. And of course, at that point, nobody, nobody, nobody knew, you know, what was going to happen. So our producers were basically like, okay, because we film in Toronto um, and I'm obviously from Vancouver. So I, they're like, go home for a couple weeks and we'll, you know, we'll, we'll <laughs> pick things back up when, when things are settled down a bit, but they're like two, three weeks max. And then, you know, five months later, we then continued filming um, in like July. So it was pretty crazy picking up because we like we finished half an episode so we had to pick up the other half and it was pretty it was pretty intense and obviously a lot different and a lot more protocols which was um really interesting but yeah <laughs> we finished safely we finished safely so thank goodness well great well great i'm i'm glad uh, you, you folks have uh, finished it off and um stayed safe uh, for, for the show thank you yeah so uh so we, we here in the United States, we want to congratulate you because the first season is actually airing here in the United States on, on NBC. How does it feel that this show is now finding its American audiences? It is very surreal. Um, it's, it feels, I feel a little like detached being in, in, in Canada and in Vancouver and kind of like, you know, in my own little quarantine bubble, I'm not really doing me things, but it feels very surreal. And I, every day I have to like pinch myself and, um, but it's so exciting. And this is obviously what we all had like hoped and dreamed for, um, you know, signing onto the show is that it would, you know, like hopefully one a Canadian show we're so proud of, but you know, hopefully one day like America would be able to see it, we'd be able to share it with everybody. So it's definitely a dream come true. Um, and it's such a, yeah, it's such an honor. It's a very exciting time. So what was the path that brought you on board onto, you know, a medical drama like Nurses in the first place? It started two years ago. Um, so it started in 2018. And I remember I was in my car in a car wash and I got an email from my agent and it was like the whole nurses, uh, it was like the audition and the character description and, and, and whatnot. And then, so I read this, I'm like, nurses, oh, that would be fun. And then immediately after I get a call and I'm in the, I'm in the like, the, the like brushes are going and the water and like my car is like completely getting washed. And my agent calls me and he's like, hey, I just sent you an audition. Like, I think you're too young, um, but just, just give it a shot, give it a shot. And so right away I was like, oh, he doesn't believe in me. He doesn't think I can do this. So um, I did my first audition. It was like a taping and I like put glasses on and I like piled myself on with makeup to try to make myself look like older or whatever I was trying to do. And then I sent it and immediately after I got a call and he's like, they love you. Lose the glasses, lose the makeup, retape. And so I did that and I did that a couple more times. And then, yeah, I ended up, I ended up getting the role, but it was, it was really exciting. I was so passionate about it and I wanted it so badly. So it was quite the experience. It's, it's kind of funny is because I've done a lot of in hundreds and hundreds of interviews and you're the third person who told me that they got like an addition call in the car wash. Stop. Really? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. What? There's, my, my, car, car washes must be really lucky for actors or something. Well, uh, now I'm thinking my car needs to be washed again. <laughs> <laughs> so are you a big fan of uh, medical dramas? I am. Like, I, I'm a big reader, so I actually don't watch a ton of TV. I'd rather just, like, sit down with a book, to be honest. It's a little bit of a geek. But um, when, before I started before I got that audition, coincidentally, I had just started Grey's Anatomy for the very first time. Um, like, didn't know anything about it. I had just heard, like, for so many years how good Grey's Anatomy was, but, like, had no idea. Like, didn't know any spoilers, didn't know anything. So I was like, oh, I'll give it a shot. And I sat down, I watched the very first episode, and I was like, oh, this is good. I got into it. And so I got a few seasons in, and then we started filming. Um, and so I kind of put it down, and I haven't, I haven't picked it up since. But, uh, yeah, from what I saw, I loved it. And, uh, yeah. It was, it was fun. 
<laughs> so tell, tell us more about uh, your Ashley character, because uh, she's barely introduced here so far with two episodes, um, you know, on, on the show. What, what do you like about her, playing her? I love her complexity and, and her depth. There's so much more to her than meets the eye. Um, I think when the audience first meets her, she might not be the most likable character and she might come across as a little bit, you know, like tough and kind of like a hard ass um, with like a little bit of an edginess. But but once the season goes on, you really get to know how um, emotional and vulnerable and compassionate and caring. And like once she lets you in, uh, you've got a friend in her for life. So it was really, really fun experimenting kind of with her different levels where she, you know, maybe puts on this like tough girl face, but deep down it's because of, you know, her life and how her, her upbringing and stuff. Um, so yeah, she, she was definitely really, really an amazing deep character to play. And I had a lot of fun. Um, yeah. Getting to know her and experimenting with it. When I first read the character breakdown, I was like, oh, I have nothing in common with her. Like, this is so much fun. I love playing characters that are so far opposite from me. Oh. So I was like, oh yeah. So I was like, oh, this is so attractive to me. Like she is nothing like me, completely different person. And then kind of like, as the season went on and I was, as I was reading more and more episodes, I started discovering more similarities with her and I, which was also a really fun process. What, what were the similarities that you found with your character that you didn't discover before? Her vulnerability, um, her um, just kind of like innate ability to always want to care for people and her compassion and her empathy, I really connected a lot with. Um, and her values, her friendships, um, yeah, I connected a lot with her through those aspects, I think. Absolutely. I, you know, after watching a couple of episodes, uh, I, I kind of sense that she, there was more to her, especially so far that uh, they kind of like uh, try to create a rift between your character and Grace on, on the show. But, but there is more, right? Absolutely. Yeah. And I think as the season goes on, you'll, um, they develop such a friendship that is so is so nice to see, and it, it's a really yeah, it's a really lovely um, arc that I think those characters have and, and their friendship. You know, like a lot of medical dramas, the big question is going to have to be: Is there a love interest for Ashley? There is, yeah, there is. Um, she's briefly introduced in the first episode. Um, I think it's pretty, I don't want to spoil anything, but I think it's pretty obvious like that sparks are flying with um, Caro, the paramedic who comes in with the missing fingers and has wolf um, scavenged for them. So uh, yeah, it's really fun that that relationship um, develops a little bit. And I think it's teased also in the trailer. So I don't think I'm really, really anything. But that was a really, really um, heartwarming storyline and, and really fun relationship and I'm also just so honored playing um a gay character on on tv and representing that community um and yeah it's a really it's a really special romance that I'm excited for everybody to see that that is actually very special because there, there's not a lot of gay characters portrayed on television today exactly and it's such an honor it is such an amazing community of people and the support and the love and the like investment that these people have in in our relationship is so special and yeah i'm so honored that we were able to portray that and, and tell that story well call, call me excited now i'm gonna have to like continue watching just just to see what, what where your story arc is going with this <laughs> oh good yay <laughs> so so th when, when you took this uh this role did you have to take classes or like a special boot camp to know what you're doing yeah, we had a, the five, actually, uh, I guess there was, yeah, there's one, there was more than the five of us nurses, because also Sinead, um, and I'm forgetting who this was, so, like, we filmed season one a couple years ago now, but anyways, point being, we had a week of medical training, um, so all of us nurses, and um, we had a, a, a doctor on set, actually, every day with us, so he kind of hosted this, like, medical training, where we learned the basics, and kind of how to at least look like we know what we're doing um and we learned how to use the machines and all of the equipment in the hospital is actually real real hospital equipment 
so nothing is fake. So our, our props and everything, they're all real. So we kind of learned how to use them and how to properly, you know, hold things. And we learned CPR and, and all of that stuff. So that was so fun. It was like, I was living my childhood dream. Like I always loved the idea. I was, I had such a big imagination as a kid. So anytime I'd like come home from the dentist, I'd like, like I'd ask for a pair of their like gloves and a mask and I'd like pretend to like, do. so the fact that I was like getting to like do all these things, I was just living my childhood, like imaginative dream. <laughs> it was so much fun. <laughs> that is awesome. So can you save a life now or you just still pretend to save a life? <laughs> Absolutely. Still pretending. I don't want to take too much credit. I mean, I can do CPR, but who, who knows? I'll leave, I'll leave that to the, <laughs> the professionals. <laughs> so um, tell me about the set on um, the set here in, uh, in Toronto. It's, did they create a set or was it actually sort of like a made up hospital? What, what, what's going on? Yes, we have a, a big studio and they actually built um, the hospital within the studio. So um, it's actually, I, every, I, it's so cool. Like you walk into this studio and then there'll be like a paramedic or sorry, a, um, an ambulance and it'll look like the exterior of a hospital and it'll say emergency. And then you can like walk through the doors and it's the, like the ER and then, and they, it's all different room. Like it's, it's, it fully looks like a hospital. Like it's, it's pretty, it's pretty wild. Um, so it's, and it's, and like I say, all of the medical equipment and all of the machines and everything, they're all real. So it's definitely a fun playground. <laughs> <laughs> it does seem, it does seem like a fun show to be, to be, to be on um, for you. Was there a favorite episode or like a favorite, uh, you know, uh, patient that, uh, that you had to basically, uh, you know, perform on? Right. I think my favorite episode, um, just as a whole, is episode seven. Um, you get to see the characters outside of the hospital and uh, all together having fun. And then when things go, um, when things get a little chaotic, they all come together and, and you can see that their friendship and their bond and, and their like worth, work ethic is really special. But my favorite patient episode, um, I think, was episode eight. Um, I know it's teased a little bit in the trainer, but I'm like, in the trailer but I'm on a gir like a gurney with the patient and there's like a bunch of blood and it's just like blood gushing everywhere and that was just so much fun to me like I love getting my hands dirty and like that whole that whole scene was really fun I was like riding the stretcher um so I think that was my favorite patient episode too just also the story um that unfolds also I, re I remember that trailer yeah yeah so <laughs> much fun <laughs> Now let, let, let's talk about yourself, Natasha. Did you always want to get into acting? Because I understand you actually started at a very young age. Yeah, I started when I was, uh, I started on camera when I was seven, but it's something that I just always had within me. Like I've always had the biggest imagination. And as a kid, that was very obvious. Um, and so I was acting before I even knew what acting was like I would I would study movies and I was just so fascinated with characters and movies and I would be like five years old and I was the biggest tomboy as a kid by the way and I would be like five years old and I'd be fascinated with like a particular character in a, in a movie and maybe they would be a very like girly girl or whatever so I would the next day like put on a dress and have like a novel I'd be like five I can't read but I'd have like a novel and I'd pretend to be Matilda or whoever the character was and I'd go to school and I'd get my teachers to call me by this name so and so it was just always in me and my parents saw this but they didn't want to like ruin kind of like the anything by putting me in acting so they waited until I kind of approached them with the idea so yeah basically my parents waited until I kind of approached them and with the idea and kind of figured out well, what I was doing actually I could actually do professionally so when I was seven I, I uh, asked them to put me into acting and then never looked back so so what was your uh, first on-screen role my first on-screen role was an ABC Christmas movie with Shannon Doherty called Christmas Caper um and it was like one of the leads and I was just kind of thrown like I just I auditioned for it and I got it and I had no idea like this was my first time ever doing anything um and I was eight um and I just had the time of my life like it was just I would wake up it just fulfilled me and I knew that's this is what I wanted to do forever wow it, it sounded it sounded like uh that that basically launched everything for for you this Absol yeah absolutely 
Now, of course, uh, one of the things in, in your filmography was, was a horror movie. Um, I, I can't, I'm trying to really recall. What, what was the name of that horror movie? The Possession. The Possession, that's right. Um, yeah. what, was the, what was the experience on that, um, you know, and did you ever believe that movie was going to be so big? I think, yeah, I knew, I knew it was going to be a big movie, obviously, like Lionsgate. Um, was behind it and we had Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Kira Sedgwick so I definitely knew it was a really big deal Um, but that's one of my favorite projects I think I will ever do it was so I look back on on those times and I just I smile so big it was so much fun to kind of I, I think I learned also a lot about myself as an actor like that was my first I mean I was 11 I turned 12 on set and I was like I had that character was so intense and that movie was so intense and the material was so intense. So, but it was, but, but never once was I like, didn't think I could do it. I just, I thrived and I loved it and it was so much fun and everything that came after like the premiere. And it was just like my first big like movie and and role. And so it was so, yeah, it was, it was really incredible. Now, since you since you started at a very early age, because a lot of um, child actors basically get burned out by by the time you know they turn eighteen, how did you basically mentally keep your, yourself sticking around in this business the, the whole all these years? My passion for it. It's honestly like my biggest passion in life. It it. it um, so I think yeah, just my love for it. It never it never faded. Um, and it never died. And so that what kept, that's what kept me going. And, you know, obviously it was really important for me to um, stay like in same school and stay normal. And I never once was like homeschooled or anything. Um, so I always stayed in public school and I always, I'm, I'm a soccer player. I still play soccer. So it was, I, it was really important. I think because I started so young um, that my parents, it was important for my parents to keep me like normal and sane and have other things on the go. So that acting didn't like consume me and then like you know change me just because at such a young age everything is so tender and you can be tainted and you know whatnot so um I think it was I think they my parents did a really good job of kind of like um keeping me doing also other things that I developed normally and I wasn't like kind of like tainted by this like crazy weird Hollywood world um but yeah I would say what kept me going was definitely my passion um for it that's awesome and because your 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 career is still fairly young, do you have a bucket list of roles um, for yourself? Oh yes, the infinite. Like yeah, yeah, yes, absolutely. And people who I want to work with and things that I want to do. It's yeah, I uh, I feel like sky's sky's the limit on my bucket list right now. I have yeah, it's I I dream big. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just get, you're just only getting started. Well, anyways, I have one more thought to, um, to leave because, you know, um, as, as you mentioned, you just finished, uh, um, you know, fil- filming the second season of Nurses over the summer. But of course, right now we're speaking via Zoom and we are living during crazy times. So how are you staying creative and sane during all these times? Um. I'm painting like weirdly I've taken up painting over quarantine and over this whole thing so that's really therapeutic for me um I like I say I'm an avid reader so I've been reading a lot of books my dog who's sitting on my couch right now um yeah and just kind of like trying to be yeah trying to stay sane and but also it's really helpful like with nurses premiering and stuff it's such an exciting time and um I can focus on that um but yeah, I also just moved actually before I bought a place. I bought my first place. So uh, in April um, and so kind of like this, that was my project decorating it and like getting all my furniture and everything. So I've been trying to keep myself busy as much as possible. That's, that's pretty awesome. And, and I'm just curious, is, is one of your paintings behind you or, is, or that's not it? Oh no. Oh my gosh. I wish. No, can't take credit for that. <laughs> Could not take credit for that. I wish. <laughs> no, I just, I, I'm just curious. But anyways, hey, Natasha, hey, thank you very much uh, for speaking with us. Once again, congratulations for uh, season one in America and congratulations for wrapping up season two in Canada. Thank you so much. It was such a nice pleasure meeting you and, and talking to you. So thank you. Thanks for your time.